Hello and welcome to Learn System View in 5 minutes. This is tutorial 20 on performing custom parameter sweeps in our RF systems. Here we will take the same example we have been working on in the last few tutorial videos where we have this RF transmitter circuit and I will show you how to perform a custom sweep. And in this case, to take an example, we will use a PIN variable which is basically will sweep our input power level. So we declare a PIN variable under the equation page and we use a function called tune as described in one of the earlier videos and we initialize with a value which is minus 30. By using tune function, this variable can be swept and varied as needed. This PIN variable is being passed to this source where we have 70 megahertz input signal and instead of hard coding a number, we are going to use this PIN. Now, when we sweep the PIN value, the power for this source will be swept and accordingly the output power can be calculated. That's step number one. Step number two is in the system, we just need to have a path where we would like to perform analysis. And this is same as earlier tutorial video on setting up your budget calculation. And here we have a very normal path, which is like a default path conditions. So no major surprises here. This step number three. Third and the final step is to right click, add, add evaluation, and we add a sweep. Now under sweep, we can declare which variable I would like to sweep. In this case, I only have one, but if you have uh, some more in the list, you can pick which one would you like to sweep. At every value of P in, which analysis would you like to sweep? So in my case, system one is the name of this simulator here, which I would like to sweep. An output data set, I can define my sweep data just to keep it differentiated from the rest of the data sets which will get generated. So I'll call my data, my sweep data. Start, so I will start with minus 30 dBm of input power go up to zero dBm of input power with a linear step size as one. And here you have plenty of choices to pick which type of sweep you would like to perform. With this three simple settings, by enabling a variable in equation block, passing it to the component where you want to sweep, defining a budget path in the system controller and just defining a sweep. Now I can right click on the sweep and say run. Now you can notice the input power is getting swept at every input power. We are going to perform the budget calculation as well. And then we can extract the information from the data. Once the sweep is finished, notice we have my swept data, which is the overall of sweep um, data, capturing the spectrum at every node, all the budget calculation and everything. So this is like a superset data, but we don't want to work with that data yet. In the system one data folder, which basically contains your default budget calculation part data. And here we have the part data as per the sweep. If you double click on the sweep, you can notice a nice looking data set viewer, which is a new addition in system view 2020 update one release, which got released few days ago. And this is really great to visualize your data in much more structured way. So here the measurement we are interested in is TCP, which is desired channel power. And once we click on that measurement, you can notice all the node names where our path is getting you know, calculated or the budget path is getting calculated. And here you can notice all the input power levels ranging from minus 30 to zero dBm. Now we can simply right click on this TCP, add to a graph and select a new graph and notice your system budget path and one trace belonging to each of the input power sweep condition which we want to perform. Now we can extract data at every node we want to do, but here our objective is to look at the output power which is basically this node three. So we can do a very simple post processing. Double click on the graph and notice you have a variable here which is plotting DCP. And the function we can use here to extract any data from the overall swept data is extract swept data. This is a simple function and it needs three arguments. DCP is the measurement which we want to extract, comma, node names and comma, single quote, the node name. So here we have node number or node name as three, which is our output power 
It's a very simple syntax to remember. Once you click OK, we have input versus output power curve for our system very, very easily. So it's very easy to perform and it's very universal. You could do any kind of analysis. So using the simple function, in case your data doesn't populate automatically, just use this zoom to fit button and then it will auto scale the plot. Now, while we perform this simulation, one thing also which is very interesting to note is we we have the spectrum plot for all the all the power points. So if we simply right click on the plot on the output node and we say we want to plot the power plot at node three and we click OK, you can notice the, the power at node three. If you want to complete um, you know power swap plot, you can always get that data from my swap data here. Look at P3, which is basically a huge array vector of 12,864 in this case. And we could right click add to a graph and we can say add to a new graph. And here you will have multi-dimensional SWIP data. You can see you know, the arrows of the dots, one plot representing each of the power sweep, you know, power sweep point. But again, you can perform the, the, you know, the extraction as you need to plot output spectrum at every input power level and look at the harmonics level or the spurious levels change with respect to the input power. That's all for this video. Hope you like the content presented and it will be helped to you in your design work. Thanks a lot for watching.